Oh my God, it is finally happening, ladies and gentlemen. So on August 7, actually today, mamaya mamaya, may patch dito na paparating and there are some good things dito na mangyayari sa ating Honor of Kings ng game. So I want to talk about all of these things. May mga new dito na showdown event and then Dong Huang's limited skin and then um, total purchases basically rebate dito tsaka yung fragment shop i-update nila so yan important ting mga yan but let's go dito sa hero adjustments lalo na yung pinaka last part dito and I believe na magugustuhan nyo talaga so <clears throat> pagdating dito sa hero adjustments pre check lang muna natin hanggang dito lang muna natin so hero adjustments stats dito na buff and then yung mga changes ni dito nangyayari so U1 Mulan tsaka si Hansin basically they said medyo kulang yung kanila mga damage kaya Enough dito. So, to cut it short, Yuhan dito, nag-increase yung kanyang damage sa skill 1 and then jungle effectiveness din. Mulan dito, nag-increase yung kanyang both damage ng skill 1 niya sa wielding both heavy and dual swords. So, basically yung two forms niya. Hansi naman dito is increase base health para mas tumagal siya dito sa bakbakan. Kasi uh, kung di nyo alam na nerf yan siya previously. And this is actually a good thing for Hansin because Hansin is one of my favorite dito na characters coming from Arena of Valor din. And then Levi dito, nataasan lang din yung kanyang damage sa kanyang first skill. So basically yung pag nag-teleport siya, nag, uh, parang nag-dash siya dito tapos natamaan ka, mas mataas damage to. And then stat changes dito, basically kay Lee Sin naman, um, na-buff dito ang both ng kanyang mga forms in the early game, pero late game dito, na-nerf ang revenge form. Yan yung mabilis itong tumakbo siya, yung mabilis itong sumasapak-sapak. Sinasapak-sapak ka lang na matay ka kagad. <laughs> So, may hirap yan counter. Kaya buti na lang dito na ina-nerf nila yun. Luba naman dito, adjusted his passive damage against uh, different targets. So, that's it. That's it. Pero, if ever you scroll down a little bit pa, guys, madami pa dito yan. yan uh, this will, uh, these are the um, details. Kung gusto dito na i-check, pwede nyo dito i-post lang yung video. So, ayan yung kay Yuan, ayan yung kay Mulan. Ito naman yung kay uh, Luban, okay, kay Lee naman. Pero, Doon sa mga changes doon sa taas, hindi nila pinakita ditong pinaka the best pre. So, let's go down. Let's go down. And let's go down. Do you see anything there? Sa screen natin na medyo maganda tingnan. Like, sobrang ganda tingnan sa mata. Oh, grand pre, na nerf. Increase ultimate cooldown and reduce damage of sec recovery of skill 2. Damage and recovery of skill 2. So, what do they mean by this? So, skill 2 niya dito, pre, alam niyo naman, ang healing doon is napaka-OP din. So, kung titignan niyo dito yung mga stats, ladies and gentlemen, 10% dito ang binawas agad sa extra physical attack dito sa base damage ng skill 2. And then yung life death border damage din dito, nabawasan din ng 10%. And additional din dito, nabawas din ng 0.3 sa kanyang enhanced basic attack recovery. So, basically, lower damage, lower health recovery, lower overall. And then yung kunyang cooldown, ladies and gentlemen, na bawa, nataasan pa. So dati is 36 seconds, minus 4 per skill level. Ngayon naman is 40 seconds pre. So hindi ka na dito makapag-spam ng ult every single time. Though, hindi masyadong affected yung kanyang overall dito na performance. Kasi yung kanyang ult naman kasi, uh, even though na 40 seconds yan, I believe na it is still um, in between dito sa um, spawn, uh, respawn time. And then yung next naman dito na objective. So hindi siya dito masyadong nahihirapan sa rotation. Basically, he can still use his ult every single time na kailangan. Ang pinaka the best lang talaga dito is yung kanyang second skill. Pre. <laughs> yung kanyang recovery dito. I say, holy crap, napakahirap niya dito patayin. Lalo na pag tatlo or more. Pati dito yung mga uh, minions dito nasama dito sa kanyang second skill. Grabe yung heal niya. So, ayun na guys. Ang sinasabi niyo dito ng nerf. So there was actually one person who commented in the previous natin dito na video about kay Ogren kung gaano siya kalupit. Ang sabi niya dito, kailan ba uh, kasi ang tanong ko sa video na yon, sabi ko, kailan ba talaga in-nerf si Ogren or stay as is? So sabi niya dito is stay as is. Well, it's a different story dito pagdating sa Honor of Kings <laughs> na developer pa. So what do you guys think about these changes? Do let me know down below. And if ever you have any questions, comment lang din kayo. And if ever you have anything to share then as well, put it in the comment. This is Nerima Havan. Stay safe and stay nerdy. Stay nonchalant then as well. Peace!